welcome back to the half hour of power. I am Joe and Brandon is here. Yo, Joe, what do you know? Hey, Brandon, uh, I know you're really excited about this show because you are a bigger Star Wars fan than I am and a bigger Star Wars fan than Jesse was. I'm just one of those Star Wars fans that enjoys the shows. Wait, the movies? Um, and I do uh, count the Ewok adventure and the Ewoks battle for Endor as uh, two of the movies I enjoy. Um, I enjoy six movies. Seven, eight, yeah, so the two Ewoks, that makes it eight movies. Uh, how about you? I bet you're a bigger fan. I mean, you do you read like expanded uh, universe stuff that Disney said didn't exist anymore. Uh, you do all that stuff too, right? So yeah, this show's for you, Brandon. We're gonna cover a Star Wars show, a brand new Star Wars show, hot off the press, the Star Wars show that is causing everyone to run, run. And make sure they have the money in their accounts to subscribe to a year's worth of Disney Plus so that they will not be left behind on this sizzler of a show. Just leave me on. The Acolyte. I know you uh, have uh, renewed your Disney Plus for a couple more years because you know this show, The Acolyte, is going to be running for a long time because it is so good. So well done all the way around. Right, Brandon? No. Oh, okay. Uh, me too. Uh, but anyway, seems to me nowadays there are two kinds of Star Wars fans. Maybe there's more, but there's like Star Wars fans and then there's Disney Star Wars fans. Yeah, there's. Yeah, you're right. There, there is a split. There is a divide. Um, you have your Star Wars fans, like myself, like true Star Wars fans, and then you have your Disney Star Wars fans, and just like this, the, like Doctor Who, you have your original Doctor Who fans, then you have your Disney Doctor Who fans. So, yeah, that that odds me out because I, you know, I see some of these guys talking about Star Wars or girls <coughs> who talk about Star Wars. And they sound like they've never seen the original Star Wars movies, and it's just very strange to me. It seems to me if you're a Star Wars fan, you'll want to watch anything that's Star Wars. But that's not true anymore. It's like no. you're a Disney Star Wars fan, and you'll watch anything Disney Star Wars and ignore anything else. And I bet you they probably won't even watch the Ewok Adventure, which I think is... The title on Disney Plus is The Caravan of Courage. Was it always yeah. called that? Yes, it was. It was I don't recall it always called The Caravan of Courage, but... Yeah, it was. I remember it being called The Ewok Adventure as I was a small child watching that on my tube television. <laughs> Excuse me a moment. Wait, what? I haven't seen that. <laughs> The acolyte goes down the wrong tubes, and it is terrible. <laughs> Brandon, do you love the acolyte? I hate it. I hate it with a passion. I'm not gonna get my one eighty, my eighty-one minutes of life back from watching that show. No, you never will. And since uh, we have not done this. We are going to talk about every episode on this show. Yeah, this is this is a first for us here at the Half Hour of Power, everyone. We are going to talk about all the Acolyte episodes. So let's go right into this. There are two episodes out now that we have watched, and I'm sure everybody out there has already watched it and probably watched it multiple times so they can find all of the Star Wars Easter eggs. They can find everything <laughs> that's in there. And they can love their Disney Star Wars show. Let's see the first episode. That is called Lost Backslash Found. It was lost, all right. 
and profound. Is that about okay? Here's the plot synopsis for that: A shocking crime occurs in a distant galaxy, prompting the Jedi Order to hunt for the prime suspect. Gur. That's that's the most stupidest thing. Yeah, you like that? So that yeah. promises, and I thought this might be interesting, but there's nothing interesting about this show. I no, there's there's I... okay. So first of all. <clears throat> This show in the first episode I already gave the whole plot to the whole show. Oh, it did. How so, Brandon? I mean, I agree with you, but just for anyone who's out there who's living under a rock and who hasn't seen the majesty of this show, well, I mean, the splendor leave. of it. What's her name? Explain Liz? it to them. What's her? How do you say her name again? Lizzie Head. Leslie Headland. Oh, okay. So I'm never going to get her name, so I don't care. Um, the thing is, she's a bad writer. She's a bad creator to do with Star Wars. Now, I know she did a TV series that had a lot of controversy, and she remade Heathers. But I saw your face. But the other thing about it is you're writing about Star Wars. And you know nothing about Star Wars at all. And you praising Ryan Johnson, who messed up Last Jedi. Ryan Johnson, one of the worst filmmakers I've ever seen make anything. And I refuse to watch anything Ryan Johnson ever makes. Oh, shoot. I don't ever. Know. I don't but care what he makes. I won't watch it because he's smashing the fans verbally. And so, that's the other that's the other thing about some of this Star Wars, Brandon. Yeah. If you dislike it and you say I don't like it, then they just call you names and that's what the you know, oh, the, oh, the creators they, just call you names. They call you all kinds of they uh, hit, any hit, name hit. they want to call you. And Ryan Johnson did that and then JJ Abrams jumped on the Ryan Johnson bandwagon and he started doing that too. And well, here's, here's uh, let me let me say this. I'll say this. Ooh. And I don't know if we've talked about this on her. I may have. Mm -hmm. But around the same time, there was a little film called Batman v Superman. And a lot of people didn't like it. And a lot of people liked it. And then there was another movie that came out that same year, just months later. Another little movie called the suicide squad a lot of people liked it a lot of people didn't like it you know mm -hmm. but if you criticize that star wars movie ryan johnson would call you names and people from lucas films would call you names but if you went and criticized batman v superman you know what Zack snyder did he talked to you and engaged you because he talked to you fan to fan. And do you know what, if you went online and you uh, criticized the Suicide Squad, you know what the director, David Ayer, did? No. He didn't call you names. He said, you know what? I tried something different, and it didn't quite work. I'm going to move on. He, I never read an instance where those two guys bash the fans for not liking what they did uh you know what whether you whether or not you liked suicide squad or batman v superman i gotta give those guys credit for that because they will at least like let you not like it won't call your <coughs> names won't bash you but that's not what happens with lucasfilm and star wars is it brandon no they call you they will call you the g-a-y word Okay, so uh, we have a uh, wonderful cast in here. I'm I'm not too upset with this cast. I think the cast is okay. I think as you've I, 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 well, I just as you've already said, if they were given a better script, a yeah. well written script, I wonder what they director. could do, and better a better do. director. Yeah, I mean this is terribly directed. It's not directed well at all. Um, and I the my favorite person in this is master saul um well, i, I mean, like 
Come I've on. never seen him. I've never seen him in anything, but I think he's doing a good job. Wait, you haven't? Now, now I will say this: his character could be better written, also. But I think he's probably the most, for me, the most believable Jedi. So, well, well uh, he, the, in, he was in Squid Games. Yeah, I didn't watch. I, I didn't watch Squid Game. Oh, um, yeah, well, really? Wasn't that on Netflix? Yes. Yeah, guess who doesn't have Netflix? Oh, I'm sorry. If I'm going to spend more money on another streaming service, you know what I'm going to spend it on? Shutter. That's only $5. I don't give a flying crap about that. That's five more dollars I could put towards Shutter. No, I'm saying Shutter is $5. <laughs> well, that's what I'm saying. I'm not going to spend uh, anything on Netflix. I will spend it on Shutter. You know, Shutter, you know Shutter going to Netflix, right? I don't give a hell about that. I guess I'll have to stop with Shutter then, because <laughs> Netflix is uh, ass. Oh, I said it. I said it out loud. I'm you sorry. Said it out loud. You should be saying it yourself. I'm sorry, but anyway, um, one of the most idiotic uh, Jedi, unbelievable Jedi. You and I talked a little bit about this. Is that Yord fellow? Which I don't like that name. That's stupid. I'm sorry. I'm just gonna say it. That's really a stupid name. Yord Fandar. Yord Fandar. Look, the hunter from the future. Yord Fandar. He's our man. I couldn't help myself, Brandon. You're not stopping me very, very well. You're not keeping me off of this. Because I think you. Because I think you really enjoying it. I'm not enjoying it. This show sucks. <laughs> but I think it's hurting you more than it, it hurts is. me. I, I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying my best not to uh go on a on a terrible rant because I have a lot to say. Well, let me let me start you off on that rant. Let me let oh, me try God. and start you off on that rant. <laughs> I don't know why they decided to have Yord Fandar steam clean his robe in the middle of a common room in the, the spaceship so he could have a that's a Padawan, right? And I don't even no, know, I don't no, know that Padawan's name. That Padawan not, come in and like stare at his finely chiseled body with his uh he's wearing a wig. I mean, that's that's not his real hair, right? I mean, you can see the picture of Charlie. I'm sorry, I, Charlie Barnett. Okay, in the background right there, and he does not have that that oh. hair. Yeah, no, that's not. But you know the, as the Padawan stands there and stares at him and undresses the rest of him with her eyes, in an un Jedi like fashion. Brandon. What do you think about that scene? Wasn't that one of the greatest scenes you've ever seen put in a Star Wars movie? Or I'm sorry, it's a show. I want it to be a movie. It's so good. Mm, no. That was what? very that was one that was very degrading to the actor himself didn't want that scene in the show. And oh, so he is just doesn't want to be objectified and sexualized uh, by a Padawan? Yeah. And by all the viewers of the show? Yeah. He didn't want he yeah. did not want it. He did not want it in there. He said it. He did not want it in there, but um Hetland or whatever said no it'd be something great to show that Jedi's, you know, are are regular people just like you and me. No, they're not. They can use the force. I can't use the force. I don't have a midichlorian count, Brandon. Do you have a midichlorian count? I wish I did. How come he can't steam clean his robe, cloak, with Look, the force? Just, here, here we go. You know, why can't he just stand there and hold it up there and steam clean it with the force? Look, first of all, this is in the future. Okay. But it's Disney Star Wars. They can Who do cares? that stupid true, stuff. True Disney. Disney. Nobody Wars, cares about right? Disney. So That's look. True. Look here. I'm going to just let it out right here. Out of every movie, every Star Wars movie, every TV series, cartoon series, comic book, books, 
they don't have people steam cleaning their clothes on the ship where he's stationed at the temple. Yeah, so they were going to uh, capture the... Oh, this is hurting my head, Brandon. So I was going to go pick up the... the, the okay, so that's going to pick up Osha. That's, that's, that's the main protagonist <clears throat> and her sister Maya. Oh, the, twin sister? Oh, they're like twins. I, I have never that, I seen it. That from. I want to yep. get that from. Exactly. You read my mind. I've never seen any kind of twin thing done in Star Wars or anything never, else. Ever. Never. Ever, ever at all, for that matter. So it this is, is going to be wait, interesting. Wait, Joe, hold on. Wait, check this out. <clears throat> she was called a, a Meeker, Micker, whatever the heck it was called. But the Trade Federation... Instead of using droids, they use humans to go out to fix things on the shuttle. Yeah. Now, now through all Star Wars history, I never seen it in, in any book, any comic, any show. I have this book right here. Look right here. See it? Yes. Okay. That chronicles all the stories that was written for Star Wars, video games, comic books, and novels. This chronicleized. <clears throat> there was no High Republic. This. Um, this is the golden tunic I was telling you about. Oh yeah, what's with the the uh, Star Trek tunic? This is um, Kathleen Kennedy's doing. This is her her High Republic era that she added to the Star Wars timeline that never existed. You know, it was the old Republic, the Republic, then the Empire, then the Rebels, then the New Republic, and the new um, Jedi Order era. <clears throat> so, but see this right here? This is what I was telling you about. See that? Yeah. So, that I mean, they, they look... So that's, the, that's the Jedi, this thing right here. That? They, they look strange, those tunics. They all look like in their, their little uniforms. But, but you see this right here? Yeah. That's that's the the uh, Jedi Order's uh, Justice League Tower over Coruscant. Stop! You're not making this up, are you? That's real. No, it's actually in the comic books. Okay, so uh, okay, so there's lots of silliness that happens in this, and we are talking about two episodes. So I'm gonna say what the next episode is, so we can just continue the conversation here. The second episode is called Revenge Backslash Justice. What's that about? Are you ready for this, Brandon? No. Okay, an assassin strikes again, but this time the Jedi are there to attempt a capture. And you see it says attempt a capture because the Jedi are so inept and idiotic they can't capture this <sighs> because this, this assassin is so awesome. That it can like smash, you know, throw a smoke bomb down and outwit and outmaneuver two Jedi Masters. Of course, one of them's a brand new Jedi Master who is one of the most inept Jedi Masters ever. I'll, I'll we look, talked a little look. bit about. Now let me let me go to this other scene. This is another scene that I thought was very, very strange. It just doesn't make any sense to me. There's this just happens right before they get the person escapes um may right may is the one that escaped yes may is the they're one. twins so i confuse them i i <laughs> osha is osha and may okay so osha is the good one and may is the dark oh that was a spoiler i'm sorry everyone but anyway they <laughs> spoiled it from themselves it oh the they, I, so i i can't spoil it you're right but anyway they're standing on a balcony like one floor, you know, the second <laughs> level balcony. And Yord is so his eyesight is so bad. His his command of the force, his mastery of the force is so bad, he has to use binoculars to look down at the courtyard. And you know, the Star Wars binoculars, you can like zoom in and zoom out. You can like, you know, put a filter on that, you know, just like on Tickety Talk now. You can do all that stuff. Why was he standing there looking down 
with the binoculars, Brandon. I mean, did you just like pass out when you saw that and because you were so physically hurt by seeing that? I was not connected to that show. So when I saw that that part, it was really, really mind boggling. At first, I was like, maybe, maybe they're recording it. Maybe, you know. Oh my body gosh! Cam. On, on, yeah, they, they can't screen. have a body cam. So, um, that's what I was assuming. That's what it was. Now, here's another thing that was very, very odd. And then you need to go into some of this stuff here, but because okay. uh, I'm, I'm picking out this stuff that I thought was odd. Oh, I got the whole thing. On so here. there's a little Jedi Temple outpost on this little planet. That Ding Dong. Uh, what was the the bad person? The dark side user breaks into not once but twice and finds a jedi who's floating who's so upset with something he did 10 years ago that he decided he shouldn't eat and he shouldn't talk to anybody he should just sit there and float with a force field around him so he didn't want anything to happen so I'm, uh, I'm, you said force field i don't know what it was so uh they i'm assuming he soiled himself and wanted all the the smells to stay with him and not bother anybody. But she breaks in, tries to bust up the force field, can't get in it, decides, I'm going to go get some poison because that will surely help me break into that force field. Breaks back into the temple. Oh. Talks to the guy this time, and he says, oh, I guess I ought to kill myself. And he drinks the poison. Yeah. And then she leaves. And this is the moment when the uh, most inept Jedi master decides, okay, so this was weird. This is, uh, I'm just backing up just a little bit. They're walking in to go see that Jedi master. So master Saul, uh, master yard and the pad one, right? Yeah. And then Osha. Osha decides, I don't want to go that way because I know a faster way to get to him. So she no, goes... No, no, no. What happened was she saw a little thing of herself. Yeah, I just... So stupid, that thing. You can, you can go into that in a second. So she saw some dumb shadow thing. All right. And she follows it, and then Yord goes, huh, wonder where she's going. So he follows her. Well, for some reason, she goes straight to the Jedi Master... Looks down at the poison. He's dead. And then when they come in, they go, oh, maybe she did kill him. Look at this. And she's, oh, I know what this looks like, but I didn't kill him. And then Yord appears. I was with her the whole time. I saw her. She did not kill him. What the hell? Brandon, now tell us about the shadow because I didn't. Whatever that was, I didn't say what that was before because this was like she's seen it two or three times before. Okay, right? so her, her and and I wonder where they got this from. Her and her sister have a link. Hmm. Whoa. Mm. Wow. Wow. So they have a link. So her sister appears to her at a I guess when they was younger. So she appears to her in the outfit that she's already wearing, and it senses. So she follows that way. So, which is weird. This place has multiple ways to get to one room. It's really funny. Um, so she goes. Of course, he follows, and oh, look what happens. He's dead. And who's the first on the scene? Osha. And guess what? You would think. You would think. Hmm. Dang. They gonna think that she did it. You would think that because Saul was the guy who says she's got a twin, but she's dead. But I don't believe that Osha did this. Correct. He was the one who was like, kind of saw through everything that was happening, kind of knew what was happening. There is no way those people got there and thought that she killed that Jedi Master. What a... Joe, look, man. Look. You talking about a plot. 
Okay. If they would have left that out, they would have kept blaming her for the murder. Yeah. You know? But no. She did not do it. I followed her the whole time. Like, so... So basically, I just... Oh, Maya's here. Oh, she is? Your sister's still alive. No, she's not. Yes, she is. Yeah. <laughs> they did do that, didn't they? Oh. Yeah. Like, what the heck is going on? Oh, my gosh. All right, Brandon. Here, John. Look at this. Look, look at this. Look. Stop look at that. it. Look, is look that going to be? Is that going to be in this show? It it should. It's in the it's in the air. So look, this that's the the uh, the Jedi Temple Justice Tower in space over Coruscant. Oh, that was another thing. I don't know why at this stage in Star Wars that when they went to Coruscant and they had that shot of the Jedi Temple, it sits there for a second and then it finally goes, <coughs> Coruscant, on the screen. No, 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 no. Yes, How about the opening? How about that? Yeah, go to, go to the opening. Yeah, but I'm just saying it was just so silly that it was like, everybody knows that's Coruscant. And they have to do that. Well, I'm saying, you know, the opening when Star Wars, yeah, come, you see the talk, credits come up. Talk about that. You know, you you typed it across the damn screen. And I'm like. I think somewhere Disney decided that they shouldn't have crawls for the TV shows, but. I don't you're right. care. You, you're right. I don't either. Star Wars. Yeah, if you're going to do it, put a crawl. If you're going to have a. Brandon. <laughs> People who do spoofs do crawls. Come on. There, there are many, many more yeah. issues with these two episodes. They are so... So, I'm about to break it all the way down real quick. Badly done. And we're coming so, down to the end of this. So, real quick. This show sucks. But they made a Padawan not act like a Padawan. Act like she was in charge and tell her marriage is what to do. Oh, she That's did. She told she told she told off your, didn't she? She told oh, yeah. him to do oh, something yeah. and he just kind of jumped in it like he was in an, He's a, a master. Padawan. He's a master. He's a Jedi Knight. Exactly. Yeah, you're on. right. You're right. I almost forgot about that. Yeah. Two, two, there was no lightsaber battles, not one bit in this show. Oh, now, now that you bring up the lightsabers. Wasn't Yord like always trying to reach for his lightsaber like he was a uh, gunfighter in the old west? Yeah, that was I call them pointy sticks. Yes, okay, so now didn't uh May like try to steal a couple of lightsabers but she never succeeded? She tried to take their lightsabers because she's supposed to be so called fighting a Jedi unarmed, which I don't understand how you fight. Wait a minute. Unarmed. Is the Jedi supposed to be unarmed or is she supposed no, to? No, she's just... supposed to be unarmed. She's supposed to kill a Jedi unarmed. Oh, that's right. But oh, okay. So, but she, she's always going at him with those throwing knives. But that's what I'm saying. She's not unarmed. So yeah, that he did say that in the episode. Her little buddy who made the drugs for her, the poison. Mm -hmm. Did you kill this guy? So he's she's supposed to just make him die. Why doesn't she just like crush his brain with her? Uh, well, that's her the, uh, dark force power. Can't the dark side people like do force like, choke? That's what like it's uh, force crush your brain. How about that? This is yeah, Disney they, Star Wars. They can do anything, right? They can, but she's not supposed to use any of her force powers against them. This is one of the dumbest shows I've ever seen in my life. How about you, Brandon? Oh, it's, I hope it burns in hell. <laughs> okay. All right, everybody. Well, we'll come back. We are going to talk about episode three when that comes out the next time. Which oh, is one more thing. One more thing. Guys, like, subscribe, follow us on iTunes and Spotify and Rumble. And Disney Plus with the oh, no, wow. <laughs> with the Acolyte. You can follow us with the Acolyte since you all love the Acolyte so much. We're going to be and, right and, there. And we with, don't bash our fans. Just to let you know that. We love you guys. Yeah, we don't care if you disagree with what we say. We just like to have the conversation and figure out what uh, 
you like, what we like, what's in between, all of that fun stuff. So we are so excited to see episode three when that comes out. Aren't you, Brandon? No. It comes out on the 12th. Yes, that's just a couple of days from now from this recording. So, all right. We'll talk to you all next time. Later, guys. And for the real people, may the force be with you. Thank you.